it's Alma with the Cat's Pajamas, and today we're going to be using this Nutcracker Cuttable from the Cat's Pajamas to make this slimline Nutcracker card with Cricut Design Space. It even has a sentiment inside using a digital stamp. First, open Cricut Design Space and select New Project. To save a, a wee bit of time, I've already uploaded the Nutcracker Cuttable file. While it's still grouped together, enter the dimensions for this card. In my case, I'll just lock the dimensions of the Nutcracker and enter 8.5 inches tall. I'll check the width and it's perfect for a slimline card. Now we'll go ahead and ungroup the file. At the bottom of the file is the base of the cuttable. We'll use that to create the folding base. Select the base and duplicate it. We'll be putting the fold on the left hand side. So I'm duplicating the base again and flipping it and placing it on the left hand side. Now it's your preference of how much of a fold you want. For strength, I want it joined at the hat, the body, and the bottom of his coat. So I'm going to overlap where I want the two to be joined. Now I'll just align the two horizontally and I'll make sure the two shapes are selected and at the bottom of the layers panel on the right I'll click weld to weld the shapes together. Now to add a score, since my Cricut has a scoring function, from the left panel click the shapes icon and select score. A score line is inserted next to the left column and I'll spring it to the welded shape and center the score. And I'll just adjust the height of the score a bit. Now looking at this nutcracker, I think I want to make the mustache match the beard and not his eyes. So I'll duplicate the black sections of him and select contour at the bottom of the layers panel and turn off the mustache. In the second one, I'm going to turn everything off but the mustache. Now I'll just go into the color sync panel and I'll add the mustache to the color with the beard. Now let's add a sentiment to the inside of the card. I'm uploading a sentiment from our Nutcracker Digital stamp set. When I go to insert it into Canvas, I make sure I select it as simple and as a print and cut file. Now I'm just going to make it smaller to fit the space of the card. Cricut allows me to actually print something and cut it out. So if we click make it, we see that Cricut wants to print then cut just the sentiment. Here's how to make it so that it prints and then cuts the card shape and then scores it. Place the sentiment above the card shape on the layers panel and make sure both are selected. Then at the bottom of the panel, select the flatten icon. This joins both the print and the cut layers together. Then to score, we'll just place a score line on top of the flatten layers and use attach at the bottom of the layers panel to attach the line to the flatten print and cut. Now let's check this out. Click make it. Perfect. The black box goes around the print and cut and the score shows up. Now remember the score doesn't print. Here's what the print and cut looks like printed. See the score line doesn't print. After it prints I load it back into the Cricut for the cutting part. And here's what it looks like cut out. And it really scored too. It actually scored a little bit off, so I put it in my score pal and rescored it. Now I've gone ahead and cut out the rest of the pieces for the card. It has a lot of small pieces that I don't want to lose, so I'm just going to cover them with low tack tape and then put them through my Xyron sticker maker with the tape up. And I'll just remove the tape after it goes through the Xyron sticker maker. 
it's a good way to make sure I know what side is right side up. Now to add a little dimension, I'm going to use my blending brushes and a variety of different inks. And to make it easier, I fit the parts of the nutcracker back into the shapes they were cut out of. I start off the actual piece and start blending into it. I just find that it's not as messy and it's kinder to the edges of the piece, especially if they're small or delicate. Plus, it ensures that I don't add a lot of ink right away. I can just build up the color. I start with the red first and get all the little bits and then the green, followed by the pink for his face and flesh tone for his arms. Once the blending's done, I start gluing from the top of the nutcracker. I like glue for this part of the job. The glue gives me a little bit of open time to move the pieces around to make sure that they're in the right place. Now the bill of the hat on the face, and that slides right under the hat. and the beard. And then the coat. Oh wait, the pants are next and then the coat. See, glue lets me do this. And now the coat. Now the shoes, and the gloves, and the belt, and the buckle, and then the armbands. And now the decorations on his buttons. I'm not sure what they're called. If you know what they're called, leave a notation in the comments section. And finally his eyes. Now his pupils have highlights that cut out and they're pretty small. You can choose not to include them in your pupils when you cut yours out. But because I was making my nutcracker big, I thought, why not? Let's include them. Now these, now the pupils go into the white ovals, which are his eyes, and those fit onto his face. Now his mustache, and then his hat decoration. Forgot to add his black feather, but that's okay. And now his mouth. And I think I want to add some ink onto his cheeks. Now that he's done, add adhesive to the front of the card. And attach the nutcracker. For a nice flat card, layer a piece of parchment on top of the nutcracker and then place the weight on him until it dries. And that's it. It's easy to make cards from your cuttable designs using Cricut Design Space. I hope you give it a try. Have a great day.